Brett Tadney, we're back here again at New Media Expo Las Vegas 2008. Uh, and joining us, Mr. Tim Berkwin, uh, founder and uh, I guess co-host, co-chair yeah, of New Media all Expo. all of that stuff. So along with your brother, mm -hmm. Neil? Emil. Emil. Right. Sorry. You got the French name, French first and last yeah. name. I just got the regular first name. Well, well thanks for joining us. First yeah. off, fantastic conference out here in Vegas. Uh, Everything I've heard have been uh, outstanding. Thank you. Uh, we had good keynotes yesterday with Gary uh, from uh, Wine Library, and yep. today uh, George from uh, Will It Blend, and right. we're going to have a little clip of that on uh, on here. Uh, Both have great stories to tell. Yeah. So. So, so how's the conference been for you overall? Good. So you know, so far as the organizer, I'm my, my worst critic. So any little thing that I see go wrong, I think we you know we got to do better, better next year. But overall, I'm happy with it. it, it, it the, the main reason we do this is so that people can get together and just talk and kind of push ideas forward. Now, as a conference organizer, you'd probably think that I'd say, the reason to come to a conference is because of these sessions, these fantastic sessions we put together. But I'll be the first to say that, that, that those are great, but some of the best reasons to come are out in the hallways and after hours at the, at the bars and in for coffee in the morning, just talking with fellow attendees. And so I think that's we've done that this year really well, so hopefully that, that's come through. Preaching to the PubCon choir here. That's, <laughs> that's why we have PubCon, yep. to get together and talk. Exactly. So. Yeah, you guys are the originator of, originator of that, that idea, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, next year you haven't quite got your date set, but... Right. About the same that. time, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And we think Las Vegas is good. I mean, it's certainly it's an attraction. Yeah, there's a, there's distractions and things like that that come on uh, because it's Las Vegas, but I think that it's easier to get to for a lot of people, right. so we hope that uh, that continues next year. It's Vegas. It's always a great draw. It's yep. always a great draw. Um, have you, are you releasing any numbers at all? How, how big it is? It, just by the sense, it's, it seems around 1,000 to 1,500 right yeah, in there, I that think. that may be right. I, uh, maybe tomorrow we'll pick up a few more people, but I'm really superstitious about it. I feel like the, <laughs> the first time I ask my registration manager how many people are here, that's the last person that walks in the right. door right then. Right. So I don't ask till the last day, but I, I would think that you know, you're know you a good judge of that, and I would say yeah. that's probably about right. Yeah, yeah beautiful, uh, beautiful audience. Uh, so, you think you're planning just a repeat for next year, or what's gonna what's gonna be around the corner? Where are we? Everybody here has been talking that we're kind of in the early stages yet. Yeah. You know, out there the general idea is video. Oh, it's old. It goes back into the 50s and 40s. You know, but really, this is uh, kind of the beginning. And I think it is in its infancy still. I mean. The show changes a little bit every year in, in what is the hot topic. I think this year it's video and live streaming from cell phones, which really didn't exist a whole lot last right. year. There was only a couple people doing it, and a lot of people are doing it now. Twitter, of course, was big last year. It's huge this year. There's always something new that, to be learned, I think, uh, from other people that are here. I, I constantly learn things new that just from stepping into the sessions to find out what's hot. But you have to program these things almost a year in advance. You know that, right, right. from doing the show. So it's hard to decide what's going to be the hot topic. So we always hold a few things back back to, to program in at the last minute. But, um, you know, I don't know what that hot thing will be next year. Will I be on the lookout for it? I don't know if it's uh, it's some combination of what we're already seeing, but people are using video and audio in pretty interesting ways that I wouldn't have thought of even now. So it's, it's always interesting to see how people are using the technology. Now, what's your background in? Uh... Well, I'm a, I, I have a weird background. I was LAPD officer for eight years, and uh, I was a stock trader, so I would trade stocks all morning and then go work chase bad guys at night and uh, I went looking for a convention for online traders to meet other traders to learn how to read charts and, and I couldn't find one and so uh, we started a convention for online traders and that was my first trade show and it started to do so well that I quit being a cop full-time and started in the trade show business wow. Wow. and then we started a podcast I, I was a mountain biker and so I wanted to go out and talk to other mountain bikers and record those conversations those interviews and put them up online and I started hearing about this thing called podcasting I thought perfect because the guys that I'm doing the show for aren't in front of their computer. They're out riding their bikes with their iPods on and then they want to take these shows with them. So when I looked into it, you know, podcasting, a lot of people asking questions. What equipment should I buy? What's an RSS feed? How do I grow my audience? And I thought, ah, trade show. You know, when you get that, there were companies that were starting to uh, create services for podcasters. When you have that, those things, two things coming together, the trade show guy says, hey, there's something here. Right, right. Good, good timing too. Just beautiful timing. So it's obvious the show is growing. Uh, looks to be about a third larger than last year from what everybody says. Yeah, you know, you'd always like to have a few more companies join us sure. here, but I think each year we're convincing more and more people that this is a legitimate industry, that, right. that there's money being spent by individuals to create their shows, that they're serious about it. So we'll grow that slowly as the years go on. Right. It, nothing's more legitimate than uh, you just got off stage getting interviewed by uh, Leo Laporte here. Yeah, that was here. very cool. And he, we, you know, he draws thousands of people online, right, which is right. great. So that's, so that's nice yeah. work there of legitimacy. 
So. Always a good. Well, we're about out of time. I appreciate you taking the time and having us down. For those who don't know, we had uh, partnered with New Media Expo PubCon this year. So uh, we fully support what you're up to and hope to do it again this Thanks, next year. Thanks, Brett. I so, appreciate it. Thank you, sir. You got it. Appreciate it. Cool.